Let me ask you a question and be honest. Do I make you horny, baby? Do I? Do I make you randy? Yeah. What? What was that? Not Mike Myers, the actor? Then who? A killer? What? Who, are you, where are you rolling? Why didn't you tell me? I have a whole script. Fuck it. We'll fix it in post. We'll fix it in post, I guess. Intro for intro, baby. Frank Bones, Halloween, 1978. Halloween was produced by Deborah Hill and directed by John Carpenter. These two also wrote the screenplay, giving us two of the best horror characters of all time. Soon after, John would direct The Thing, 1982, one of the scariest creepiest movies of all time. I could talk about it for days. But today, I'm talking about another movie in the running for the GOAT title. Halloween. What a force. What a fantastic film. What a failure the rest of the franchise has been. Just by comparison, it's like the OG Halloween is Take On Me, and the rest of the films are the rest of AHA's songs. Oh, sorry, I should try to be more relatable even though fucking everyone knows that song. They just don't know AHA. How about this? Halloween is Truth Hurts, and the rest are all Lizzo's other shitty songs. And that's a terrible comparison because Truth Hurts fucking sucks, but I'm just trying to relate to the young hip audience. So let me reiterate, John Carpenter's Halloween is fucking amazing. This sort of thing is my bag, baby. It really is the father of Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, and countless others. Halloween is Vince Vaughn in Delivery Man. That's a much better comparison. I'm good with that one. Just to be clear, I'm talking Vince Vaughn's character in the movie, not Vince Vaughn or the movie itself. I like Vince Vaughn. He's funny sometimes. I'm rambling again. Halloween is the simple story of a sister slashing psycho who escapes Smith's Grove Sanitarium by stealing a sedan and starts slashing unsuspecting sexy high school students. Say that six times fast. The Halloween score, which was composed and performed by John Carpenter, a real jack of all trades, is so iconic that I guarantee you have heard it even if you've never seen a Halloween movie. The rest of the sound in Halloween is top tier two. The cinematography in Halloween is unrivaled. It's so well shot. It does a magnificent job of projecting the eerie, creepy setting, making it feel like you're right there in Haddonfield, Illinois, where Halloween and most of the other films in the franchise take place. On to the characters. You know him. You love him. Michael Myers, the fictional killer. One of the most well-known fictional killers ever. Like Jason Voorhees, Michael Myers was a fucked up child 
who grew into a mammoth man who enjoys slow walks towards his victims, followed by brutally murdering them. Also like Jason, Michael is played by a plethora of different actors throughout the franchise. For the original Halloween, he is played by Nick Castle, and for almost every Halloween, he is known as The Shape. He's a big scary monster, like an ogre. You know, grab your torch and pitchforks. Doesn't that bother you? Now we have perhaps the queen of final girls, Laurie Strode, played by Jamie Lee Curtis. She starts off as just an average teenage babysitter, but evolves into a badass survivalist throughout the franchise as she appears in six Halloween movies, including the 2018 remake. Dr. Sam Loomis, played by Donald Pleasance, is my favorite character in the franchise. He is witty, savage, and maybe just as batshit crazy as Mike Myers. Pleasance played Loomis in five Halloween films before passing away in 1995. Rest in peace. Donald. One more notable character is Sheriff Brackett, played by Charles Cypress, who gave us this iconic line. You know, it's Halloween. I guess everyone's entitled to one good scare. Huh? The kills. There aren't as many as you would think. The cold open with Michael's sister is a nice POV. The Bob kill is the best one. But this movie is so much more than gore. It's the definition of suspense and paranoia. The rest of the Halloween films are a big letdown, yet I will be covering them all. But for now, let's enjoy the nostalgia and count up some super scores. And I'm spent. Final score, 98.4, so clearly it is elite. Next time, Halloween 2. I think it's only fitting that we end this one with one of my favorite lines of all time. Thanks to Donald Pleasance. I met this six-year-old child with this blank, pale, emotionless face and the blackest eyes, the devil's eyes.